This Thanksgiving, I woke up to something I am truly grateful for, and that is seeing some asshole online get caught and arrested by the police, while also getting made fun of for his clown shoes. That's right, thanks to Billy Lopez on TikTok, we can enjoy something that we all wish would happen when someone steals cards from a convention. They actually get caught. Now, we're going to start the video off with little Timmy on the ground. We don't get to see him hit the deck, but we do get to see the next best thing, which is the police actually catching someone at these conventions. Let's enjoy this wonderful piece of cinema together. Stay down, bud. You picked the wrong fucking show. Those chains are fake as They're clowning him for his Alibaba drip. His, his Nike shoes and his ice. His ice that's so heavy apparently that, that you'll see he, he can't even stand up. He's just weighed down by all that drip. Damn, I knew this one too. <laughs> Look at this goober. Absolute goofball. So I zoom I, I kinda came here and it sounds like it sounds like he just tripped. Like bro didn't even get punched. It sounds like he just slipped and just biffed it all over. You can kinda that time too. I get this Pokemon. So like this, this guy has a little slip dance. We we literally had like yeah, so it sounds like the kid literally just like slipped and fell and it looked like he clocked himself pretty good because he just seemed a little disoriented by the whole thing. I don't know if it was the police actually like performing their duties like like threw him off like oh my god I'm actually getting arrested or if he just smacked his big goofy head on the on the pavement there. But either way, this is something that you just wish you saw every convention because I'm sick of seeing all these videos on YouTube reacting to people stealing stuff and then nothing actually happening it's so frustrating and no hate to the content creators but it's so frustrating because none of these thefts are big enough where you're going to see them on the news and none of them are big enough where you're even probably going to get an update if you follow a specific store like an lgs on instagram you might get an update maybe but there's a better chance that even the store doesn't get an update on the stuff there's a 99% chance that when people steal this stuff from conventions, they just vanish forever. Even if they get caught, chances are it's not going to get put on the internet and even less of a chance of actually being found and uh, getting, what, 50,000 views? Is that what this got? I don't know. It, TikTok's weird on the, on the browser. But Billy Lopez did a fantastic job being there in the moment, capturing it on film, and sharing it for all of us to enjoy. Now, obviously, on Thanksgiving, jokes aside, I'm very thankful for all of you guys, my family, friends. Every I have lots to be thankful for, absolutely. But I, I can't lie to you. I am most thankful for videos like this. They just make my heart sing. I love to see finality. I mean, seeing this, this stupid guy just get dragged away by the 5-0. It's so inspiring. And honestly, the fact that this kid must have tripped, biffed it, and then the cops were there, I assume just a few minutes later, that's really encouraging. Like, this card show should be very, like, proud of themselves for having a proper security force. At least, at least someone that can come and arrest these assholes right away. It You can't tell, obviously, but it doesn't seem like a lot of time really pass between this kid biffing it on the floor and the cops being there. So hopefully uh, we have get we get more like police activity at future conventions. Uh, I know some people don't like the cops and, you know, you, you got your do your thing, your prerogative. But I guarantee you like the cops when things like this happen because you got to hate these assholes more. I'm just saying. Anyway, very, very happy to have woken up to that. I know a couple other YouTubers replied to it already, but... uh 
been a busy day. I set up Black Friday sales, went to uh, me and Andrea's family's house, and I was very much looking forward to just putting together a little 10-minute video and sharing it with my audience who might not have seen this already. So if you guys are new to this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully uh, someone has an extended cut where we just get to see him smack the deck, but we're probably not going to get an extended cut this time. But, you know, guys, if you're working a convention, keep your cameras up. There's a lot of vendor POV videos that are very entertaining to watch the footage of later, but they also serve as a really good uh, security watch. Now, this guy wasn't a vendor. He just happened to have his phone out, and that was great. But if you're vendors, people do this. People steal all the time. I mean, we see more and more of these theft videos on YouTube every single day, and it is a small, teeny tiny fraction of the theft that actually occurs at these things. So if you do the vendor POV videos, at least everything's filmed. I'm particularly salty against these people because I did like one season of conventions at my local mall. It was for like three months out of the summer, and I had two people steal stuff from me. One of them was a Pikachu plushie. It was worth $20. Guy steals it from me. Saw it on tape. Is the Pikachu plushie that valuable? Absolutely not. Did it piss me off? Yes. Has it been three years and I still think about it every day? Yes. I'm a little bit crazy. I've got a little craziness in me, but yeah, it just, it makes these videos that much better. So thank you, Billy Lopez, for sharing this with all of us. Happy Black Friday, guys. I hope you find some great deals. Enjoy that TCG player 10%, whatever the hell's going on that no one's shutting up about. And yeah, have a wonderful day, guys. Buy my stuff at pokeyne.com.